Right, so I'm going to talk about the immunoglobulin epitopes, or otherwise known as the determinants. So antibodies are immunogenic, and they produce antibody response when injected to another species. So that's how we use antibodies to bind to when we do uh, certain experiments. If we were looking for a protein, you would be buy an antibody from some sort of company um, that makes antibodies that is predetermined to either to already bind to the protein that you're looking for. And they would have made this antibody by injecting it into, say, a rabbit or a goat or something. And, you know, that whole process is too complicated to get into for this video, but maybe I'll do one on that in the future. But that's just how antibodies are used um, in scientific experiments nowadays. So isotypic determinants or isotypic epitopes, they're located in the constant regions. So one of these regions here, uh, they're this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy. Okay, and they define heavy chain classes or subclasses and light chain types and subtypes within a certain species. Okay, so isotypic So what they do is define heavy chain classes or subclasses and define light chain types and subtypes within a species. Okay, so say you had something uh, like, if I draw a little guy here like this, hold on, bear with me. So I draw this antibody here and your heavy chain constant region is right here, 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 and here. And on mouse IgM, you have a bunch of different proteins right here, like this. But on IgG, you have these ones. Okay, so it's just different epitopes in the constant region. Okay, um, next we have allotypic determinants. So what allotypic determinants are, are Allotypic. They are located in the constant regions, once again, and they might vary from individual to individual. So if you look at an IgG molecule, once again, so remember that I was pretending that this here was IgM and IgG of the same mouse, okay? In a species, same mouse or in the same species, so they might be different. Allotypic determinants are located in the constant regions and they vary from individual to individual. So once again, if I draw our molecule here, if I go like this, and we have our heavy chains and our light chains, once again, our heavy chains are, I don't know why I keep on doing this, but they're, oh, we're pretending they're pink. Went a little too high up there. And half of this. Okay, so that here is an IgM, or IgG, sorry. And then let's pretend that we have another IgG right beside it here. Okay. And we have a variable region right there. So these are the same ones, but we have one mouse here. So this is mouse one, oh geez, this is mouse one, and this is mouse two. So they're two different mice, or two different strains of mice, and this is one's IgG molecule, and this is one's IgG molecule, right? So they might look completely different. They might have, you know, this one has proteins here, 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 and different expressions of different amino acids somewhere, and then this one over here has 
all of these different ones right here, right? Next we have idiotypic determinants. Idiotypic determinants or epitopes. And what they are is they're located within the heavy and light chain variable regions. So now we're looking at these regions right here, the two variable regions right there. And they're defined by the unique amino acid sequences that determine their specificity. Okay, so you might have something that binds something completely different on two um, IgG molecules. So say you have two IgG molecules again, so we're using the same model right here, we'll use this guy. And on one of them, so this is just one IgG molecule, just so you know. Um, I know you know that, but so we have bound to antigen A here, but on this separate, pretend this is a whole separate molecule now, this one binds to antigen B. So you have the same mouse, same type of immunoglobulin, but the variable amino acid chains, they determine the specificity of what antigen they bind. So I'm just going to put antigen specificity. 